Who is that young and attractive Hollywood star? Where is he off to in this big fancy limo? Perhaps an awards show or some red carpet event? Find out after this. As I'm sure all of you guys guessed, the limo was, of course, to accommodate my family so we could all go in the same car to go all over Los Angeles and find the best pizza. That was back in the 1990s. We went to about nine or 10 different places rating all the different pizzas. So the other night, Mia and I went to have dinner with my aunt and uncle. And the hunt for good pizza in Los Angeles continued. This time we got a little bus and Louie the dog came with us and we were off to try to find some good pizza, and I tried to keep my eyes open for celebrities. Celebrities are always wandering about in that area. Any celebrities? Are there any celebrities? Have you seen any celebrities, Mia? We dropped my uncle off at the first place to wait for the pizza, and then we were gonna go to the next place, except the van tried to leave without me. Tried to leave without me. <laughs> Nothing personal. Oh, okay. Oh. You know, Mia. Pizza place number two, Toscana. Oh, this place is probably filled with celebrities. <laughs> it's seriously. Did you, did you see anyone? I didn't look around. I was trying to be cool. Thank you. Just give me a few minutes. Okay, you guys have to have Toscana. They put the bush here so you can't see the famous people. Give me your plate. Take Louie's reaction very seriously, because. He actually doesn't eat everything. You're yeah, so right. Eat. That's the kid one, but when you're done, Louis, this is the adult one. <laughs> he has to use his whole head to chew it. I'm <laughs> good. That's very upsetting. I like it. <laughs> All right, we should go to Pizza Hut at the end. Yeah. It's like a detective door, right? The celebrities in this place. We'll keep looking. It's game time. Is this Mama's? Yeah. I don't think we've had a 10 yet. Large pizza pick up. This is the first place where I've actually seen slices. I think I'd be too much pizza. Who's Paul? <laughs> there, thanks. Have a good night. You too. A new winner. Who won? I know you guys are all at the edge of your seat wondering which has the best pizza. But first I'm going to brag about or embarrass my cousins. This is my cousin, Becky. I made Becky sign my book. <laughs> oh, got heart. <laughs> it's actually my copy, her book. This is Becky's book. I think that's the coolest thing ever. It's called Mapping Manhattan, a love and sometimes hate story in maps by 75 New Yorkers. To kind of summarize, Becky went around the city with these blank maps, handing them out to strangers, and she asked them to fill them out and mail them back to her. This one's by Yoko Ono. It's actually really cool. So like people would put their, their memories and their stories onto these maps. That's Becky. Includes a blank map to fill in and mail back for inclusion on mapyourmemories.com. Oh, you're Say mugging hi. the camera already? Yeah. You're mugging the camera? You make such a great ring bearer. I was the ring bearer at Becky's parents' wedding. I did such a good job. All right, all right, back to the pizza. The winner, and still, ch no, the win a new winner, Pisano. Really? Uh -huh. Pisana, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Toscana comes in second. Yeah. And the margarita was a seven, mm -hmm. which tied for my Demora seven. Mm -hmm. My allegiances were with the crest on the margarita. Wow. Oh, wow. It was Pizzana! And sitting next to Becky, that's my cousin Julian. Even though you're not really there, I can run my fingers through. Back in 2009, Mia and I were visiting New York and we went to go visit Julian and the rest of my New York family. And Julian played the piano for us.
was like so blown away. I had no idea he could play and sing like that. I want to say he was about 13 or 14 in that recording. All right, tiny bit of one more song. I had these feelings I never knew. And I realized I should have told you that I never should have stopped loving you. you. Julian's from New York, but he's been staying in LA for a little while. I think he said he was doing some music stuff with Marvel right now. The pizza was just rated based on what everyone thought of it, but I would take it a step further. I would take price into consideration. If you go to Wegmans, they'll make a pizza right there in front of you for 10 bucks, and it's 20 inches. It's huge. And it happens to be really good pizza, but if it wasn't like the greatest pizza you ever had, you could say, you know what? It's 10 bucks, they just made it, it's huge, so. But then if it was like, $30, you'd be like, oh, you know, for $30, I can go to this place and get pizza that I think is a lot better. You guys see what I'm saying? Pretty much everywhere we went, a large slice of pizza was like roughly four inches long. That enormous, amazing ziti pizza that we showed you in Pennsylvania, that was $20 for the pie. A lot of the little pizzas you saw in this video, those were also $20. Some places try to say East Coast pizza, but it's not. But it was still a lot of fun and we took home some pizza. I'll eat anything if it's pizza-ish. Maybe next time we should actually do it around here because where we live here, you actually can get bigger pies. And of all those places we went to, only one of those places had slices and they were like over $3 per slice and the slices, they're small. They're like four inches-ish for a slice. All right, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had to kind of rush through it because we are packing and I'm sure Mia's making a face at me because <laughs> I should be packing. So I'm gonna have to go back to that. It's just kind of quiet at the moment. So I'm using that quiet time to do this video because you know where we live. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna end here. If you are new, please subscribe. We are the slowest growing YouTube channel. So make sure you jump on it eventually, yeah, okay. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will always be demonetized for posting family-friendly content and good night.